All right, today I have a bit of a confession for you guys. So those of you who watch our stream already know this. I got demoted from Platinum 2 almost immediately after getting it. Actually, the day before the Road to Diamond episode came out and I have been plubbing around in Platinum 3 since then. Kind of embarrassing, not gonna lie. This Road to Diamond episode is probably gonna be titled something that you would normally see in a TSM Legends episode. But that's in the past. That was more than a week ago by now and I've changed. I am no longer a feeder. And I'm gonna prove that to you guys today. No more messing around, let's get that rating back. Game number one, I am sick of playing non-stop Maokai for the past two days, so let's play some good old Aurelia. There's no way we're gonna be able to get him here, is there? It's a Mumu, he's gonna start blue side, right? Isn't that where a Mumu starts in the jungle? Oh, maybe I need to update my jungle knowledge because, oh, what a hook, good job, Blitz. First blood and flash on Sona down. Uh-oh. He level two. Uh, he level two! He First game of the day. Okay, give me a second to wake up here. I really am getting better at not feeding. Look at my match history. Are you kidding? Okay, I hate Fizz. I Fizz is just dumb. Oh my, okay, I'm, I'm serious, we're playing well now. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Still gonna fight, still gonna fight and be super dumb aggressive, even though I'm trying to not die. Hang on, am I dead? Oh! Okay, okay, maybe, maybe we'll die one more time. I mean, it's for a good cause, it's a team fight that we're winning. Our team is dominating, but <laughs> I do need to stop dying. Wow, okay. <laughs> This game was incredibly easy. It's not even 20 minutes and we're knocking down the inhib. 19 kills to four. We do end up racking up a couple more deaths, but we had a pretty good kill participation for a team that dominated as hard as that team did. It's kind of hard to do as a top laner. Not good enough though. Let's go ahead and try again. All right, game number two. Let's try and not feed so much in the early game. We got all that out of the way, game number one. You know, it's been a while since I played against an Urgot top lane. I forgot how goofy and fun this lane is. There we go, first blood. Good job, Kha'Zix. Oh, I deal a lot of damage to you, Urgot. You gotta be careful. God damn it, G-Bay, you idiot. If I had a nickel for every time I canceled an auto attack or stunned a minion or done something small like that that's just given up a kill or forced me to use flash or something for the kill, I would be so rich. I'd have more money than I make on YouTube. Oh, Urgot, you can't do that, man. You can't stand next to low health minions or I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and kill you over and over. I have 100% of my team's kill, or I have 100% kill participation right now. This is going incredibly well. We're double ACS, we're five minutes in. See, I don't wanna stand next to that guy because otherwise I'm gonna do this and it's just gonna be the same thing all, the same thing all over again. Oh my God, I actually kinda feel bad for this guy. Uh, it's not fun when you feed an Aurelia, is it, Urgot? If he was like a Teemo or something, then I obviously wouldn't care, but he's trying to have fun top lane. He's playing Urgot instead of like Maokai or something. I'm sorry, buddy. It's nothing personal. I just gotta prove to my YouTube viewers that I'm not as bad as they think I am. You know, we could actually go for a perfect game here. I don't want to jinx it by saying it, but we have 80% kill participation right now. We have teleport coming back up soon-ish. And bot lane isn't like dominating. They might not ruin the kill participation thing. So if we just like don't die, we could make something happen. Y you don't realize that minion is actually low enough right now because I have a sheen. So I can just do this and then, oh no, it's not low enough. Barely not, but it doesn't matter because we're still gonna get the kill. That was almost low enough. You gotta be careful of that. You're not safe ever against Aurelia. The biggest part of the perfect game challenge is getting the, the kill participation, not just not dying, but also getting high kill participation. And it's really difficult to do as a top laner sometimes. So I gotta make sure I'm roaming and TPing enough to make that happen. <laughs> this poor guy, look how scared he is now. No, this rise is going too ham. He's killing everybody. I'm not getting any kill participation. Screw it. I'm just gonna follow this guy around. Make sure I <laughs> don't lose out on his kills. Oh shit! No, the tower's focusing on me! I, I lost it. God damn it. Ah. I'm tilted now. I'm going in on a 1v4. No perfect game. Let's have some fun. God damn it. 
<laughs> God damn it, I really wanted that perfect game. For those of you who may not know what I'm talking about, back when I was trying to commit to daily videos for like the third time, I set up a challenge for myself where I wanted to have a game where I had zero deaths and a 66% kill participation, which I called the perfect game. And I'm having a fantastic game here. This, this one could have been a perfect game if I just realized the tower was hitting me. Hey, Ergot, have you learned your lesson yet? Have you learned your yet? Oh, uh, yeah, I haven't learned your lesson yet. Oh, shit. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. How did they just ace us? Hang on. How did we just get aced? Focus the Lucian. He's destroying you guys. Oh, my God. Kill him. Kill him. There we go. We got him. We got him. Now we run away and we live with no health because Aurelia is not even close, baby, the champion. Why do we keep on getting the Cloud Drake? I hate the Cloud Drake, okay? It's not, it doesn't do anything. Come on, RNG, please. We still get the win. 13, three and 11 is a pretty respectable score still. So I guess I can't be that upset. Wait, how the fuck is 13, three and 11 not an S rank? At least an S minus, what the hell? You know what, Aurelia is working for us, so let's just keep on rolling with her. After having two days in a row where I played 11 straight hours of Maokai Top, Lane. I feel like we can get a lot of games in for today's Road to Diamond without getting too tired. Nasus, the bane of my existence top lane right now. Ugh. God, I hate Nasus lanes. They're so boring. I never get to do anything. He always just runs away and he ults and he runs away and he ults and he runs away. Oh, you can't run and all that one away, and we should live. There we go. Okay, hopefully we can snowball a little bit with that with that kill and Maybe turn this lane into something that is not so incredibly boring. Screw you, Nasus. I'm TP ganking. Maybe this is the way to teach me how to TP gank. Just give me the most boring lanes in the universe, and then eventually, hey, I'll get too bored. I mean, look at this. This is going to work out pretty well for our team. Or maybe not, because I suck at TP ganks. I forgot how bad I am at these. We only get a kill on the Braum, but we get a kill, and we should take Dragon off of it. Uh, it's something. Oh! Smite it! Smite it, you dumbo! You did enough smite. Good thing we killed that kindred. Did you know what? He just used his stun thingy, so I'm gonna tower dive him because I am so bored. That was your fault too, Nasus. This is all your fault. And you're just, you're taking a tower and you're just farming your Q. I hate Nasus. Can you guys tell? God damn it. And he's still gonna get to win, isn't he? Shoot. I guess that's what happens when we give them kindred, though. They're going for it. They're going for it. Please be distracted. This is our only shot. This is our only shot. Only shot. Only shot! Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Oriana TP! No! All right, well, we were on a pretty massive winning streak. I guess we were bound to lose a game eventually, but God, that's frustrating. This time, we want to make sure we do this. Whoa, I had level three before him. Oh, shoot, he just got it. But hang on, I've done a ton of damage. Goodbye, first blood, there we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, we're going to bounce back hard this game. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Another easy kill. Okay, we're snowballing hard. Our mid lane is one and one. That's the only other action on the map. Let's do this. Oh, he knew it. He knew he had a person coming and I would go aggressive and be dumb. But I still get the kill. And then let's flash away and hopefully still live somehow here. Maybe not. Let's not say we did. Oh, I should not have turned. <laughs> that was a really bad idea. Uh, there he is. Come on. You're, you're like the Urga. You need to learn a little bit. He can't stand next to the low health minions, otherwise this shit happens. Ah, you you're a flash. I look like a fool now. Oh, I want that kill. I want that kill badly. Oh, I wasn't even commentating because I was so focused and awesome and amazing at League of Legends PC edition. Oh, and then I... Oh, oh shoot. I had flash. I was going to flash stun him, but he got the flash auto first. This Elise is actually really starting to be a pain in my balls top lane. She's 5-1-2. and two. And I am 4-3-0 after my 3-1 start. As long as she's focusing on me and not my teammates, though, maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Please stop feeding bot lane. Ugh, our team is having so many issues. Bot lane is 0-6, mid lane is 2-4-1. You know what? I can do this. I can carry this on my own and maybe with the help of LeBlanc if she starts doing well. Good job on that triple kill. Look at that CS difference 16 minutes in. It's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, right now I can split push top lane because Darius wasted his TP on nothing earlier. I have a word I can TP into if these guys try and engage on my team. They don't have many tools to engage. 
Yeah, you have to back, don't you? <laughs> okay, that that's not gonna work for the inhibitor, turret, I don't think. I want to do it. I want to do it because I'm dumb and I'm I'm an idiot and I want to do it. I'm like that's why I'm a bad at League of Legends. I want to do it all the time. Sometimes it works out for me when I do it like that. Or like this. Take the Baron. Even though this is Road to Diamond, they do not get a steal. That is only for our team. And then we go Super Ham and aggressive and dumb and bait exhaust so our teams can get the kills. That's why we do that. And there we go. We get the victory and hopefully end the video on a pretty good note. Okay, how does 10, 6, and 6 give me an S minus on Aurelia, but 13, 3, and 11 give me an A plus? Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching today's episode of Red to Diamond. This episode, I seemed a little insecure, didn't I? Super focused, try hard on playing pretty well. And that's because I want to always make sure that I'm a YouTuber that you guys can be pretty proud of. Most YouTubers don't play Red. Most YouTubers don't take League of Legends seriously. They just play with their friends and they try and have a good time and, and have some laughs and whatever. That's not what I'm about. I'm all about ranked. And I want to make sure that even though I'm not a pro player, even though I'm not challenger, or I'm not going to be challenger anytime soon, I should say, I still want to try and play my absolute best and make sure that we have some pretty entertaining games for you guys. I think that's a pretty good way to round out the day. So I will see you all tomorrow in tomorrow's new video. But until then, thank you very much for watching. Good luck in solo queue and have a wonderful day.